Number one is Tucson Direct, owned by John Landon of Milford Center, Earl Davenport of Paul, Earl Davenport Trains, Billy Walters Drives. A two gold ruby owned by Marion Burns of Troy, Ohio, Robert Burns Trains, Hugh Beatty Jr. Up. Three Rembrandt Bernice, owned by Jim Chaloff of Dayton and David Harris of Chicago, Rick Heitman, the trainer driver. The four Happy Hocus Pocus, owned by Cougar, Wasterville and Schultz of Sunbury, John Schultz, the trainer, Bob Harper getting the call. The five Campella Salas, owned by Cheryl Van Shake of Lebanon, Ralph Lunsford, the trainer driver. Number six, Belinda Wick, leased by Robert Deal, Jerry Kushbach trains, Don Irvin Jr. Up. Seven, Nailey's Image, owned by Jalen Boniface of Botkins, Roy Burns, the trainer driver. Number eight, Miss Cash, owned by Larry Braley of Orient and Dean Gillespie of London, Dean Gillespie, the trainer driver. The nine horse Western Destiny owned by Clarence and Sean Mayhew of Canal Winchester. Sean Mayhew, the uh, trainer driver. And from post 10, Our Wick, owned and trained by Frank Rooks of Williamsburg, Ohio. Jack Daly is in the sulky. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and uh, from the far outside, it's Miss Cash. First for the lead, towards the inside, the gray, happy Hocus Pocus. From between horses, three comes Belinda Wick. Along the inside, fourth, Rembrandt Bernice. Outside, five, Cal Palacellas. Off the rail, sixth, came Tucson Bridget. Angling in seventh is Western Destiny to the inside, and racing eighth, Our Wick. On the inside, ninth is Neely's Image, and the trailer after a rough start. Gold Ruby, the opening quarter, 27 and 3. Coming to the stretch and on the front, Happy Hocus Pocus. Cutting this mile out here, leading by two. Miss Cash on the inside, the garden spot trip. Belinda Wick is next in line third. Rembrandt Bernice directly behind the better's choice. Along the rail five is Cal Palacellus. And now moving first up, sixth comes Tucson Direct, hoping to flush cover. Racing into the clubhouse turn, and it's Happy Hocus Pocus. 11 to 1 shot here, leading the way. Second on the inside is an 8-1 to one Miss Cash. The half, 58-4. and four. And here comes Belinda Wick now moving quickly on the outside. Tucson Bridget right behind her is drafting with cover fourth. Rembrandt Bernice at the wheel is fifth. Then it's a gap of some four, four and a half lengths to Cow Palace Ellis. And now three wide Gold Ruby as they race down the back stretch. Happy Hocus Pocus. She's led the entire mile. Tucson Direct on the outside, but in front of her is Belinda Wick, who's challenging the leader. Three quarters, 128 and two. Around the final turn and on the front, Happy Hocus Pocus. Now two lengths. Belinda Wick beginning to tire now. And here comes Tucson Direct on the outside. And Rembrandt Bernice moving into striking position. Gold Ruby, what a mile here now. As she swings five wide, less than an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come. Happy Hocus Pocus. And Belinda Wick comes back into the picture. Here comes Rembrandt Bernice. 11 to one shot, closing quickly. But it's Happy Hocus Pocus by two. From the first number of four, Happy Hocus Pocus, a three-year-old daughter of Long from the Harold J. Mayer, Happy Trick. Owned by Kruger, Westerville, and Schultz of Sunbury, John Schultz trains Bob Harper in the Saki this evening. The first win of the season for the three-year-old of Philly. It's a career mark for her as she sent Gate to wire tonight, 159 to fill. Samuels and Sheldon and I of Columbus, Alex Spence Jr., the trainer Dave Miller will drive. The two Miss Andre, owned by Rhonda Stidham and Linda May of Ohio. Rocky Stidham, the trainer driver. The three tag, owned and trained by Charles Brown of Richwood for Kathy Wood. Number four, Aloha Baker, owned by Robert Hagner of Centerburg, Charlie Smith Jr., the trainer driver. Number five, Sheena Symphony, owned by Peterman of London and Peterman of West Jefferson. Roger Peterman, the trainer, Dean Gillespie. Uh. 
Number six, Emma W, owned by Joe Swartz and Jim Sparks of Grove City. Gilbert Travis, the uh, trainer with Bob Harper. Seven, Lucky O. Oma Mary and George is at Wilmington. Jim Willems trains for Jeff out. The eight, Swing Me High, owned by Ralph Brumbaugh, Greenville, and Dave Brumbaugh of Arcanum. Dave Brumbaugh, the trainer. Driver's change is to Greg. Greg Brumbaugh. The nine, Roland Tyler, owned and trained by Ralph Sturr Jr. of Asheville. Mel Turcott in the Sonke. Win play show perfect to trifect. On the back stretch and approaching the start. And uh, they're off. And from the inside, Aloha Baker. First for the lead. Miss Andre getting away second. Stephanie's Destiny from off the pylons third. Angling in quickly fourth. Lucky O. From the outside five is Roland Tyler at the red end sixth tag. Followed seventh by Emma W. Inside gapping eighth, Shanna's Symphony. The uh, trailer ninth is Swing Me High around the first turn, and they're approaching the first quarter. Miss Sandre still parked here, but she now clears, does take that lead. Miss Sandre settles in on the front. Opening quarter 28 and 4. Aloha Baker to the inside now with the garden spot trip second. Stephanie's Destiny gapping slightly third. Lockio to the inside is fourth. Here comes Tag moving first up at the outside five. Along the middle in sixth, roll on Tyler. Emma W. joins up cover to the outside of seventh. Then it's three lengths to the outer flow to Shanna Symphony and uh, swing me high the trailer. Approaching the half and on the front. Odds on favorite Miss Andre leads here a length, length and a half. Half in 59 and three. On the inside, Aloha Baker is a patient second. Stephanie's Destiny still gapping a length and a half to third and tagged to the outside, uh, showing no progress here, but waiting to flush cover. Not successful, and now Tag will make her bid for the lead as they race down the backside. Emma W. drafting with that cover. Second over five. Lucky O is now locked in sixth. Inside is seventh. As they approach the uh, three quarters, roll on Tyler, but it's Miss Andre still on the front here. Three quarters in 130. And on the inside, Aloha Baker has yet to show any life. Stephanie's Destiny next in line third. The field begins to bunch up here as they move to the top of the stretch. It's Miss Andre, a length and a half. And down the stretch they come. Aloha Baker to the inside, still waiting, and she'll take the inside lane. Here comes Stephanie's Destiny. Now to the outside as they drive into deep stretch. Aloha Baker to the inside. Miss Andre to the outside. Aloha Baker by a length. Miss Andre second, Stephanie's Destiny third. Track side, the official winner, number four, Aloha Baker, six year old Ohio bred daughter of Bakerfield. Well, by Robert Hagner of Centerbird, Charlie Smith Jr., the trainer driver. Aloha Baker recording her first of the season, and that is a career mark for her. Pacing the mile in 159 and 4. Marshal Marshall, Kathy McDonald leading the horses to the post. Race number three, these are stallions and gildings. Racing one mile, the one comes mean machine. Owned and trained by Frank Johnson of Hamden, Dave Miller drives. Number two, Eyes of General, owned by Stephen Smith Sr. of Lebanon. Roy Smith, the uh, trainer, driver's change to Don Irvin Jr. Don Irvin Jr. Three HR sculptured, owned by Roy Murphy and Kelly Gillis of Solana. Roy Murphy trains Mike Wilder. Uh. The four, Tyson, owned and trained by Charles Park of Xenia for Jack Daly. Number five, Iris Boy, owned by Robert Lunsford. Ralph Lunsford, the trainer, driver. The six, it's a trap. Over the Rents Davis stable of Dayton. Robert Rents, the trainer. Drivers change to Sean Barker. Sean Barker. Seven baffled cloud on train driven by Rex Watson of Washington Courthouse. The eight, Mr. Grady White. Owned by Mr. Dean Beachy of Berlin, Ohio. Martha Wagers trains Eric Ledford drives. From post nine, Helen's Rip. Owned by Jim Underwood of Grove City. Fred Winstead Jr. trains Randy Tharps. In the Sonke. Spacing stallions and gildings. Lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's a trap moving quickly for the lead from mid track on the inside. 
HR Sculptured, outside racing in third, Baffled Cloud, angling in fourth. Comes Ellen's Rep from off the rail five, comes Mean Machine. On the bill in sixth, eyes a general, three lengths, seventh, Tyson. Another three lengths, eighth, Mr. Grady White, the trailer ninth, Iris Boy, around the first turn. On the front, HR Sculptured, calling the shots here. It's a trap of the inside, racing second. Opening quarter in 28 and 2. Coming through the stretch and on the outside, flushing cover now. Here comes Helen's Rip. Baffle Cloud driving up into the pocket, racing fourth. Three lengths, five to Cobb's Mead Machine. Two lengths, six thighs, a general. For the back, racing seventh, Tyson. Into the clubhouse turn and on the front with the lead, eight. Char Sculptured leading a length, length and a half to Helen's Rip now to the outside, pressuring second. At the rail, it's a trap is third. They're at the half, 57 and four. Around the turn into the back side they go. HR Sculptured leading every step of the mile. Helen's Rip settles in behind him. Combs Mean Machine is off stride and on a break here. And we have a horse down, two horses down as they race towards the three quarters. Everybody's up and okay as they reach the three-quarter mile marker. HR's Sculptured has the lead. Inside, uh, Helen's Rip is the closest to challenge. It's a trap at the wheel is third. To the outside, fourth comes Tyson. Baffle Cloud of the inside is five as they reach the top of the stretch. HR's Sculptured still with the lead. Out of the outside now, here comes Helen's Rip. Far outside comes Tyson as they drive for the wire. HR Sculptured, Helen's Rip on the outside. Helen's Rip getting up to win it inside. Second HR Sculptured. Drivers, you have several horses down to the backside. Please be aware, several horses down to the backside. Trackside, the unofficial winner, number nine, Helen's Rip, a 12-year-old son of Ripping Good, owned by Jim Underwood of Grove City, Fred Winstead Jr., the uh, trainer Randy Tharps in the Sonke. Third win of the season for the 12-year-old pacer, the mile in 158-3, and three, just three-fifths of a second off his career mark. And the inquiry sign still posted. Apparently, we do have another driver involved in that accident, Eric Lenford, and they are working on Lenford on the backside at this time. Three horses involved in that accident. Two dollar perfected, nine three, thirty nine dollars even, thirty nine dollars. And printing to the post, race number four, tonight's fourth race, a condition trot, racing one mile, purse two thousand dollars. Feel of eight, ten minutes to post. The one is a likable lady, Oma Terrian, Glen Adair of Clarksburg, Brent Adair, the uh, trainer, Ryan Holton drives. Number two, Peppercorn, over the Homestock Farms of Millersburg, Ohio. Martha Wagers trains for Donovan Jr. The three, Hep Kid, owned by Henry Zaldassi of Greenwich, Connecticut. R.J. Brown, the trainer driver. Number four, Bye Bye Tara, owned by Daryl Lambert of Canal Winchester. Doug Parker trains for Dave Miller. The five, Crown Sport, owned by Iris Harwitz. Tim Rucker, the trainer, Debbie Rucker drives. The six dolly score, leased and trained by Robert Zink. For Gandhi, Ohio, drivers change to Mike Wilder. Wilder. Seven Imperial Victory. Oh, by Jim Schunk of Overland Park, Kansas. Trained by Ken Rolko and driven by uh, Burton Ashbrook. The eight Sonata Fish. Oh, by Jim Sproul, the third of Lexington. Tom Brinkerhoff, the trainer driver. Wouldn't play show perfecta and pick three. On the back stretch, there they go. And the, they're off, and from mid track, it's bye bye Terra Peppercorn. Time of the gate perfectly, quickly taking the lead. Dolly score from the outside, getting away third. On the bill, fourth, Hep Kid from the outside, five, Imperial Victory. At the rail in sixth is Likeable Lady. Angling in seventh, Sonata Fish. That leads to the trailer Crown Sport. Around the first turn, and on the front, Peppercorn leads here by two. 
Bye bye, Terra to the inside, trotting a second. At the rhythm three is Dolly Score, followed fourth by Hep Kid, opening quarter 29 and 1. Coming to the stretch, and on the front, it's Peppercorn. Peppercorn by two. Bye bye, Terra, setting the garden spot patiently second. Dolly Score on the inside is also a patient third. Hep Kid along the bill fourth. Trotters in straight alignment here as they move towards the half. No one moving, and it's Peppercorn. The odds on favorite with a lead here by two. Bye bye, Terra now gapping at two lengths is second. Dolly Score trots third. Here comes Hep Kid moving first up at the outside fourth. Sonata Fish taking that cover five. Half and 101, four fifths. Swinging to the back stretch. And on the front for the lead, Peppercorn. But Hep Kid is moving up, pressuring the leader second. Bye bye, Terra now locked in third. And Sonata Fish, a 30 to 1 shot, is drafting with cover here within striking distance fourth. Dolly scores locked in five, inside a six to likable lady. Racing into that final turn in Peppercorn by a neck, three quarters, 132 and three. Around the final turn, and Peppercorn has led throughout. Hep Kid is right there. Bye bye, Terra locked in third. And here comes Sonata Fish, three wide on the outside. And Imperial Victory now showing some trot with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Peppercorn digs in for the battle. Bye bye, Terra down to the inside. Dolly score between horses. But in the deep stretch, it's Peppercorn. Home free here. Peppercorn over bye bye, Terra tight for show. Trackside, the official winner of the fourth, number two, Peppercorn, a four-year-old uh, son of Cumin from the homesick, homesick mare, Louisia, owned by the home stock farms of Millersburg, Ohio, Martha Wagers, the trainer, John Irvin, Jr., in the Sonke. Number one, will I be owned and trained by Todd Nebraska of London, Jimmy Wiseman drives. The two perfect leader owned by Bob Griffith of Georgetown, Kentucky, Robert Burns trains for Hugh Beatty Jr. The three, Telltale Heart, owned by William Lilly of Hawkinsville, Georgia, Jim Perry trained, Jim Perry Jr. drives. The four, Good to Move, owned by Francis Hammond of Wilmore, Kentucky, Gene Bach, the trainer for Mike Wilder. Five, Erna Bunch, owned by Lowell Prickett, Tom Prickett, the trainer driver. The six, RK's Incognito, owned by Karen and Richard Graham of Zanesfield. Richard Graham is the uh, trainer, Art Ship Jr. drives. From post seven, it's moving on up, owned by Terry Kraft of Washington, Pennsylvania. Terry Thomas is the trainer. A driver's change here to Debbie Rucker, Rucker. The eight, Trackham, owned by Mike Spearman of Mount Vernon. Mike Spearman trains and drives. Nine is a late scratch. The ten, Party Pam, owned train driven by Troy Brown of Springfield. Wouldn't play show perfecta and a twin trifecta wagering. Post time in less than six minutes. Now less than six. Fifth race, facing fillies and mares, Solon behind the gate. The gate swing to the back side. There they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Telltale Heart. First for the lead from the inside, perfect leader. From between horses comes Party Pam as she quickly moves through between horses, but she goes off stride. Will I be off the rail is now third. The outside fourth, good to move to the outside and fifth is RK's Incognito. At the middle and sixth, they're in a bunch. Racing early seventh, moving on up. Party Pam recovering quickly from that break. And of the trailer is Trackham. They're at the first quarter, 29 and 1. Coming through the stretch, and it's Tail Tail Heart. 14 to 1 shot with a lead, but here comes Will I Be to the outside, moving quickly. Will I Be makes the front, takes the lead here by two. Telltale Heart of the inside is second. Perfect Leader is next in line third. Erda Bunch taking all the air here. Uh, she comes first up of the outside fourth. Good to move. Comes to the outside. Grabs at the cover five. RK's Incognito at the well is sixth. Party Pam is right there seventh. A half in 59 and one. Tightly packed here as they move to the back stretch with 
Will I be on the front, leading your neck? Earn a bunch, moving steadily on the outside. Now matching strides with the leader, and Earn a bunch puts a nose in front. Takes a lead, a nose, a neck. Now a half a length. Will I be on the inside as a game second? Good to move on the outside. Gapping cover badly. Third at the wheel and fourth is Tell Tell Hart. Three quarters, 128 and three. And Earn a bunch has a lead, but can't clear. Will I be? On the inside, racing a three tail tail heart. Good to move on the outside is fourth, and now three wide comes perfect leader. To the top of the stretch, they've lost an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. Earn a bunch, and Will I Be is still there. And these two now slugging it out, but it's Earn a bunch. One final surge, but here comes perfect leader closing quickly. It's Earn a bunch hanging on by a neck in 158 and four. Fifth race now official. Stumping into the winner's circle winner of the fifth. Number five, Erna Bunch, a three-year-old daughter of Johnny Scooter. Oh, by Lowell Prickett of Wilmington, Ohio. Tom Prickett, the trainer driver. Her first career win here this evening. Wearing down the leader, pacing her mile in 158 and four-fifths. 5-1, Perfecto paying $30.40, 30 cents, 30 40 the twin try, 512, $47.30. 30. Number two, and coming from off the rail, Long Gone Destiny, owned by Henry of Mount Sterling and Stidham of Circleville, Jerry Kuchbach, the trainer Donovan Jr. Number three, Winland, owned and trained by Terry Hall of Franklin for Dave Miller. Number four, Sir Mix-a-Lot, owned by Kruger Westerville and Schultz of Sunbury, John Schultz trains, Bob Harper. Uh. Number five, Artisan Hanover, owned by Rebecca Green, Dorothy Parker, and Glenna Green, all of Ohio. Gary Green trains for Jeff Out. Number six, HR is playful, owned by Molly Bush and Kirk Scott Mogan and Jim Woodward. Scott Mogan, the trainer driver. The seven fire heels, owned by Chris Cronin of Chandlersville, Ohio. Ed Ryder trains. Drivers change to Ryan Holton. Holton. Number eight, Uncle Will Goddard, owned by Francis Sammet of Wilmore, Kentucky. Gene Bach trained. Jim Willems in the bike. Number nine, Sweet and Dandy, owned by L.V. Long at the Kyrian Farms. And Neil Long of Ohio, L.V. Long trains. Jack Daly in the Sonky. One play show perfect, a trifecta wagering nine minutes until post time, nine minutes. Stolen behind the gate. On the back stretch, there they go. And to the off, and it's HR's playful, firing quickly for the lead. Sir Mix a lot of the inside, getting away second. Sweet and Dandy is sent early third of the inside of fourth. Fire heels. Long the middle of five. It's Windland, followed sixth by Long Gone Destiny. At the middle and racing is seventh. Anderson, however. And the early trail of eighth is Uncle Will Gunnert. And off stride goes Sir Mixalon, but he drops down to the safety lane. Eight jars playful and affected by that breaking horse. Has a lead here with the front by two. Sweet and Dandy settles in second. Opening quarter, 29 and 3 fifths. At the wheel and racing a third, it's Fire Heels, but he now comes first up at the outside. Windland pulls that cover out, is drafting along fourth. Artisan Hanover, third over is fifth. On the wheel and sixth, it's Long Gone Destiny. Inside a seventh, Uncle Will Gundert and Sir Mixalot now trails. Approaching the half, and it's eight jars playful of the inside. Fire heels coming in from the meadows as alongside matching strides. The half, 59 and 3. Moving to the back stretch, and that's eight jars playful. A 14 to 1 shot has led every step of the mile. The 19 to 1 fire heels as they're pressuring a second. Sweet and dandy up the wheel is locked in tight three, and here comes Winland now. Three wide to the outside. Artisan Hanover quickly tags, and that cover is three wide and moving fifth. Uncle Will Goddard is saving ground smartly here on the inside of sixth. At the three quarters and 128 and three around the final turn. And on the front, HR's playful looking to wire the field here, but Windland is now second and coming strong. 
Sweet and Dandy a poised to strike coming to the outside as they turn for home. Lost center and eighth. And down the stretch they come. Eight charge playful. Digs in for the stretch drive and down to the inside. Here comes the 30 to 1. Uncle Will Goddard outside is Sweet and Dandy. These two at the wire together. Very tight for the win. Tracks on the unofficial winner from post nine, Sweet and Dandy. Three old Ohio bred son of Steady Special from the Happy Escort Mare, Sweet and Special, owned by Alvia Long and Neil Long at the Kirian Farms of Ohio. Alvia Long trains Jack Daly in the Sonky tonight. Sweet and Dandy recording his second of three starts in 96. That is a career mark for him, 158 and a four fifth. One, My Zing, owned by Vicki McNabb and Dorothy Gay of Franklin, Jeff McNabb, the trainer driver. The two, Mary Midnight, owned by Curtis Best, Malta Dean Best of Stockport, Ed Ryder trains, Jack Dealey drives. Three, Joanne Sarah, owned by John and Carolyn Smith of Bell Fountain, John Smith, the trainer, Donovan Jr. Number four, Lady Whitefoot, least trained and driven by Rex Watson. Five, Steady Mercy, owned by Holly Powell of Urbana. Ron Steck, the trainer, Jeff Fount, getting the call. From post six, Bo Me Over, owned by Charles and Lois Stovall of Lebanon. Doug Stovall, the trainer. Drivers change to Randy Tharps. Tharps. Seven, Sample Second, zoned, trained, and driven by Mark Klotz of Circleville. The eight is scratched. The nine ask for Maribel, owned by the Homestock Farms of Millersburg, Ohio. Martha Wagers trains Mike Wilder in the bike. And the 10, Minato. Least and trained by George Owens of Lebanon, Dave Miller in the Sonki. Win place show trifecta twin trifecta wagering nine minutes. Seventh race, Phillies and Mares, all them behind the gate. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off and away quickly. It's Joanne's Sarah. From the outside in second comes Steady Mercy off the rail three, My Zing. Racing fourth comes Bomi Over, slipping through five, Monado angling in sixth, it's Mary Midnight. At the bell in seventh, Lady Whitefoot, two lengths eighth, sample second, the trailer ninth, ask for Mary Bell around the first turn. And on the front, Bomi Over clearing to take the lead by two, opening quarter, 28 and two. At the bell in second, Steady Mercy. Joanne Serra is third. Mai Zing is fourth. Monado a tight fifth. Locked in here. Moving and flushing cover five comes Mary Midnight. To the outer flow in sixth. Sample seconds at the rail in seventh. Lady Whitefoot and a trailing eighth. Ask for Mary Bell. Racing into the clubhouse turn. Tightly bunched here with Bo Over showing the way. Mai Zing coming first up at the outside. The half in 59 and two. As they make the turn to the back stretch, Steady Mercy is locked in third. Mary Midnight to the outside with cover is racing fourth. Joanne Sarah at the rail fifth. Sick to the out of flow, sample seconds. Monado is buried on the inside. Seventh, ask for Maribel eighth. And trailing is Lady Whitefoot, but she's only five lengths off the front. Into the final turn. And Bomi over leads here two lengths. Steady Mercy on the inside is second. Three quarters, 129 and two. Around the final turn, and it's Bo Me Over, two lengths. But Steady Mercy, yet to move, is well rested and poised to strike. Joanne Serra also at the rail, waiting for racing room. My Zing is fading fourth, lost center eighth. And down the stretch they come, Bo Me Over. With the lead, Steady Mercy, down to the inside, makes her bid for the lead to the outside. Joanne Serra, into deep stretch. Steady Mercy, inside, getting up to win it. Finishing a second, Bomi over third, Joanne Serra. The winners in the twin try, the carryover at $10,017. Trackside the winner, number five, Steady Mercy. Four-year-old Ohio bred daughter of Steady Special. Oh boy, Holly Powell of Urbana, Ron Steck, the uh, trainer. Jeff Fout in the sulky, second win of the season. And she earns a career mark tonight, 159 and two.
Eighth race, two and three year olds racing one mile, first $2,000, field of eight, no changes. Nine minutes until post time. Number one, name your poison. Mike Rennie of Columbus and Laura Samuels of Dublin. Billy Walters trains and drives. The two, cigarettes. With the ACA stable of Wilmington, Daryl Lewis, the trainer for Dave Miller. Three, Gerald's Falcon, owned by Don Lane of Kalina. Steve Conklin, the trainer for Mike Wilder. Number four, Dare to Cross, owned by Leonard Buckner of Mount Eaton. Tom Brinkerhoff, the trainer driver. Number five, Irish Falcon, known trained and driven by Larry Tincher Franklin. The six street rags, owned by Kevin Manley of Beaver Creek and Ron Newton of Clarksville. Kevin Manley, the trainer, Jeff Fount with the lines. The seven Medarts Log, owned by the Star Country Stable and Benny Haller of Chillicothe, Dave Abbott, the uh, trainer, Ryan Holton of the bike. And number eight, Morgan T, owned by Magic Touch and Earl Ricks and the Redder Crown of Georgia and Ohio, Don Boroff, the trainer, Don Irvin Jr., in the Sonke. Win, play, show. Perfect. On the back stretch, there they go. They're off and pacing, it, and it's the two year old, a cigarette, moving quickly for the lead. To the outside, Irish Falcon getting away second. From off the rail, third, it's name your poison. Gerald's Falcon is on a break. Along the bail, racing fourth, dare to cross, angling in five street rags. Gerald's Falcon now back pacing, is racing a sixth. Along the bail in seventh. Matt Arts Long, the trail of eighth is Morgan T. Around the first turn, heavily favored. Cigarette with the lead by two, two and a half. Irish Falcon of the inside is second. Long the bill in third, name your poison. Opening quarter, 29 and three. In straight formation as they come to the stretch. And Miller has cigarettes on cruise here. They lead by two. Irish Falcon of the inside, name your poison. At the wheel is third. Then it's a gap of three to Street Rags. Another two lengths dare to cross. Here comes Gerald's Falcon. First team over the outside, sixth. Matt Tarts, longer the inside, is racing seventh and Morgan T. Trails. They're at the half in 101 and two. They make the swing to the back stretch, and it's Cigarette by two. Irish Falcon on the inside is a patient second. Gerald's Falcon. Coming up with a big mile here this evening is now advancing quickly three, and Gerald's Falcon. Was fifth, but he's now second and moving up to the leader's wheel. The pace quickens here as they race into the final turn. And it's Cigarette being pressured by Gerald's Falcon. Irish Falcon of the inside is third. Three quarters, 131 and one. Around the final turn, and it's Cigarette looking to wire. Gerald's Falcon of the outside, Irish Falcon. Yet to show some life of the inside. And name your poison fourth with last Saturday. And down the stretch they come, Cigarette. With the lead by two, Irish Falcon looking for racing room. Gerald's Falcon is still there. Name your poison coming up with a strong final eighth, but it's Cigarette, gate to wire. Second, Gerald's Falcon, name your poison, getting up for third. Trackside in the winner circle, winner of the eighth race, number two, Cigarette, a two-year-old son of Arts Place from the Falcon Alma Hurst mare, Dana Love. Over the ACA stable of Wilmington, Daryl Lewis trains Dave Miller in the Sonke. First career win for the two-year-old pacer, 159-3. and three. Here's the field for the ninth race. Claiming Pacers racing one mile, the one mutual Hanover. Owned by Calvin Lamb of Marion, Bob Burnett, the trainer driver. Number two, Bobby Issue. Oh, then trained by Bill Caron, there's of Kenton with Mike Wilder. Three are Rusty Special, loaned and trained by uh, David Cooper of Sabina. Herbie Brown with the lines. Four, EA's Thunder. Owned by Harold Lang, Ravenna David Lang, the trainer for Donovan Jr. Five, good Allegris, owned by Henry Strong Jr. of Toledo. Mike Evans trains, Jeff Fount drives. The six, Dr. Jim B., owned by Glen Addy of Norwich. Jay Addy, the trainer for Jack Dealey. Number seven, give it the gun, owned by uh, Dick Jones and Doug Adair of Ohio. Scott Mogan, the trainer, Dave Milderum. The eight, 
Tribut Dye Job, owned by Charles Entry of Cincinnati. David Perry trains for Ryan Holton. Number nine, Falcon Signal, owned and trained by Kip Hall. Randy Tharps in the Sonki. Win play show, Perfecta, Superfecta, Wager. And the one horse off stride, and they're off. And it's our Rusty Special moving quickly for the lead. Dr. Jim B from mid track, far outside. Two bit die job. Bobby Issue came away fourth, angling in five. It's EA's Thunder. Angling in sixth comes, give it the gun. Along the rail in seventh, good Allegris. Eighth. Falcon signal on the trailer following the Miss Q leaving. Mutual Hanover. Around the first turn and on the front with the lead, it's Dr. Jim B by two. The opening quarter in 28 and one fifth. Coming to the stretch of on the rail, our Rusty Specialist second. Here comes Give It a Gun moving quickly to the outside, and our Rusty Special popping out of the pocket here and quickly taking the lead on the front. It's our Rusty Special, Give It the Gun, losing his live cover. At the button, racing a third, Dr. Jim B to the outside, Good Allegris. After the cover, fourth. Two-bit giant job of the inside is five. Falcon signals six, a half, and 58 and four as they make the turn to the backside. Our Rusty special of the inside. Give it the gun to the outside. Part two wide second. Dr. Jim B out there, but his third. Good Langris still gapping his cover fourth. Two-bit eye job is racing fifth. Falcon signals sixth to the outside. Seventh, Mitchell Hanover. Long the bill and racing eighth is Bobby Issue. EA's Thunder now showing some life for the back end. They're at the three-quarter mile marker. Our Rusty special, 128 and two. But give it the gun is still there on the outside. A second along the rail and advancing now comes Dr. Jim B. Now three wide to the outside comes Good Langris. Four wide is Falcon Signal to the top of the stretch. Lost at an eighth of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come on the front. Our Rusty special, Good Langris coming at him and coming on. Falcon signal far outside, inside Dr. Jim B. It's a Rusty special in front in 158. Good Allegris, second, tight for show. Number three, our Rusty special, 12 year old son of Steady Special, owned and trained by David Cooper of Sabine, Ohio. Herbie Brown in the Sonky. Third one of the season, second consecutive, pacing the mile in 158. Ninth race official. Order finish, Mutual Hanover 6, Bobby Issue 8. 6, Superfecta 13,400.